Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome back to the beautiful state of Utah. We have a ton to do today in today's video. We have our sleeping bag, we have our sleeping pad, we have our tent, we have our shovel, we got our traction jacks. Nothing I'm planning to break down or get stuck, but, uh, well, I have a history here and here. Okay. Enough of that. I actually do have a few subscribers who are neighbors. This is my formal apology. If I wake you up, I'm sorry. Cold startup 2009, Audi R8. It's very, very loud. This is an unplanned stop, but goodness gracious, Utah. We got views on views. Check out that Utah Lake. We got Mount Tippinogos way out there. We are headed two hours south that direction to a highly, highly undisclosed location where I believe legally this, well, that could be right, that could be wrong. We've attempted this video in the past, and uh, well, I ended up sat in a ditch for nine hours, so that's not gonna happen today, but uh, wish me luck in the comments below. Time to roll. Welcome to beautiful Goshen, Utah. Man, I am dehydrated. That is where I got the R8 stuck. I'm such an idiot, but I've learned my lesson. Well, I think I've learned my lesson. I guess we'll kind of see how today's video goes. So yeah, the R8 was stuck like right there. Hello. I'm such a, I'm such an idiot. Safe to say we are chartering into uncharted waters. We are out here in the middle of nowhere. I wish there was a way for me to quantify exactly how in the middle of nowhere we are because this is essentially, well, this is the dead center and I think that vehicle right there. If you know what kind of car this is, let me know in the comments below because, well, this thing has been through a lot. Wow. What a cool shot right there. I think I need to go get the Instagram shot for this. More to come, more to come. There's an next terror right? Ski Box Nation. Check that out. See, I told you I fit right on in. If you're triggered that once again I'm bringing the R8 to a place that it wasn't really engineered for, I don't know how to say this, but there's just something fun about doing something with a car that you shouldn't be doing. So we're headed five more miles that way into the abyss. We have nearly reached our final destination. We're going three miles an hour right now. So it's gonna be a while. Two hours later. to you for the first time, well actually probably like the hundredth time, we got views on views. We're at a highly undisclosed location somewhere in America and we have miles upon miles upon miles to run. And guess what? There's no speed limit. So for the first time on the channel, theoretically, presumably, we're actually going to beat 55 miles per hour. Now I should have done my research. I think this is probably wrong. I think the top speed of this car is like 173 miles per hour. We're gonna have to remove the ski box. The sea suckers are rated up to like 150. I don't think we're actually gonna hit 173 today because we're not on asphalt. We're on just like this dry lake bed. If I knew my geology, I could tell you the exact composites that this is, but well, I didn't. So time to roll. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is a top speed run in a 2009 Audi R8 V8 on a dry lake bed. Kids, if you're watching this, don't try this at home. Also, mom, I love you. A few revs for the ladies. All right, that's 70 miles an hour. Here we go, here we go. It's such a crazy sensation. You get serious tunnel vision. That's 110. We're in fourth at 8,000. We got a car. We have a car in front of us. Are you kidding me? Who is this guy? 
That man appears to be doing donuts. Okay, I think maybe we could become friends if that's what he's doing. We hit 120 miles per hour right there, obviously, because there's people doing donuts, but without further ado, in three, two, one, hit it. You see traction control working right there. All right, that's 60 miles an hour. There's 140, come on! We got a lot of vibrations. Okay, I gotta back off. I have got to majorly back off. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I'm showing you guys this, but if you're wondering how I film point of view, this is how it's done. This could be the new Bumble profile picture. We are running back down the same way we just went. I feel more comfortable accelerating that way because there's the kids doing donuts up here and well, there's no kids doing donuts back there. So we're gonna go up here and flip around and this is take three, top speed run. miles per hour in the Audi R8. That was in fifth gear at 8,000 RPMs. Unfortunately, we just ran out of space. I wanna say this dry lake bed maybe two, three miles long. If it was like five or six, we could have gotten a lot faster. Also this surface, there's been a lot of rain lately in the state of Utah, and so it's pretty soft. If we came out here in August, oh, I bet we could absolutely wallop that 155 miles per hour. Man, at those speeds though, goodness gracious, you get the shakes. A little bit nervous. Time to pack up and uh, head home. But as always, we keep it right under 155. We have the dreaded check engine light. Dun, 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 dun. I, um, hmm. Maybe I've driven the car too hard. More to come, more to come. As luck would have it, I have this diagnostic tool. I'm gonna plug it into the OBD2 port. We are linking to the R8, wait for it. Okay, it's a P2006. Um, hmm, that means absolutely nothing to me. I'm, er I'm erasing the code, and now it's gone. Hopefully it doesn't come back, but it probably will. We need to clean this reader glass, otherwise the ski box isn't gonna suction on, but luckily, we're in luck. We're in luck, but first, just check out all this dirt. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. We've done well, we've done well. I just realized one very, 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 very important thing we have to do before we leave, and that involves turning ESP off. I can smell, I wish I could convey the smell of fresh rubber to you guys because it's very, very strong right now. Gonna need some new tires soon. Welcome to Utah, are you kidding me? Okay, before we get into too much more trouble, we gotta head home about two hours that way, but just one more look, what? The whole time I was having fun out here, there were some crazy hippies out building this structure. It's kinda like a burning man, but uh, a Utah version. Very interesting. We have made it to home sweet home. I want to point out that the check engine light is not back, even after the donuts and the three hour drive home. My immaturity definitely got the best of me today. We had fun, but we got slightly carried away. In tomorrow's episode, we're gonna take the guy, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. If I triggered you, don't worry. I would never, ever take the Lamborghini out to a dry lake bed and do donuts 
like an immature adolescent. Someday when it comes time to sell this car, presumably on like Craigslist, I'm gonna have to make a classified advertisement and I think the description is gonna go something like, never driven in the rain, never seen snow, obviously never stuck in a ditch, and never ever would I do donuts at a dry lake bed. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic, the videos are all over the interwebs, so effectively, this car is worthless, and effectively, today's video is over. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like squad. Be sure to smash that like button, but just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out.